The Model Train Builders Club finally found a permanent home after a half century of searching. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary by starting work in a rail line that will rival the best. Dave Crawley is on the track in Gibsonia for tonight's story from KD Country. A coal train rumbles through the mythical mining town of West Winfield, PA, as residents watch from the front porches of their dusty gray company houses. A little further down the line, a worker on lunch break raises his hand in a perpetual greeting. This temporary exhibit was put together by members of the Pittsburgh Model Railroad Historical Society, one of the oldest model train clubs in the country. This is their 50th anniversary. Lou Redman was there right from the start. I like trains anywhere uh, they go. I like to hear the whistles. I like anything on rails. You, what you're doing is a reminder of what you see in real life, and it's that click, click, and that roll, roll of the cars that uh, gets to your the center of your being. Redmond remembers the club's modest beginnings back when they operated out of the old Pennsylvania Railroad Freight Station on Penn Avenue. Over the years, they were shuttled into one temporary location after another until they finally built the train museum in Gibsonia two years ago. Each member has something to add. John Lahendro is an architect in miniature. His layouts are a study in detail. Jim Sacco, the carpenter. He and his friends have begun work on their biggest project ever. By the time they're done, a project that will take two to five years, they'll have the largest model train display in Pennsylvania. They plan to lay down 2,000 feet of track, filling this entire room, an area one-third the size of a football field. Trains will enter the scene coming out of Mount Washington across the Old Wabash Bridge and enter Pittsburgh in 1952. Chuck Rackage, the planner. He says they'll reproduce the railroad line from Pittsburgh to Cumberland, Maryland, as it existed back in the 50s at the height of the steel industry. Like the others, he loves trains, but it wasn't love at first sight. It's many things for many people. For me, it was uh, being born across the street from the Baltimore and Ohio main line in Hayes, PA, uh, hearing the steam engines pass when I was very young and frightening the daylights out of me. When I grew up, I hadn't been around steam engine for so long, I wonder if I would still be afraid of them. Needless to say, he isn't. Then again, these steam engines are only two inches tall. Chugging through the Model Railroad Museum in KD Country, I'm Dave Crawley. That is it for this edition of Eyewitness News. Next report tonight at 11. Now stay tuned for the live lottery drawing, followed by the CBS TV News. From all of us here at Eyewitness News.